This week marked World Osteoporosis Day. It's a good time to check in on your bone health. That condition can stay silent until you fracture a hip, wrist, or spine. In fact, to over 50, one in every three women and one in every five men will experience a fracture in their lifetime. Good news is that there are steps that we could be taking right now to protect ourselves. Dr. Dana Bittner is here this morning to give us all the information that we need. Always great to see you. Thanks oh, for coming thank you. in. Good morning. It's one of those conditions, like you said, it's silent until it's not, right? Yeah. So it's so important to take those steps before it's an issue. Yeah, we hear, you know, when we're kids, drink milk, you know, it'll give you strong bones. But what can we be doing now as adults to continue that, to have, really have strong right. bones? Well, number one, it's to, to look back and tell those younger than us that you will reach your peak bone mass at 32. Wow. And so it's really important as teenagers and young adults that mm -hmm. we're getting enough calcium. Um, after Labor Day and before Memorial Day, it's important to take vitamin D. It would take 20 glasses of milk to get enough vitamin D. Wow. So it's really important to take a supplement. And the dose that we've all settled on is about 2,000 units a day. Okay. Do you only need that when it's not summertime, or can you take it year-round? You can take it year-round. It's hard to OD on vitamin D. Mm -hmm. um, but in the summer, if you're outside midday, you get about 10,000 units in 20 minutes at noon. Oh, wow. Right? Okay. And sunscreen doesn't keep you from getting that vitamin sure. D. Sure. Okay. I ask because I take it every every day. It's per good. your recommendation. It's good. It's okay. Good. Yes. So, and calcium, too, or just like a multivitamin as well? Calcium, we'd much rather you get it in your food. And so if you have three or four servings of a dairy-rich food, um, like cottage cheese or yogurt, mm -hmm. then having broccoli and the greens, too. So most days, good. If I have a day where I know I didn't get a lot, I'll pop a couple Tums at night, mm -hmm. you know, just to make sure I'm getting that calcium. Yeah. So, okay, so we're doing what we can. We're eating. We're taking our supplements. But, I mean, if it, what are the risks? What could we be doing right now that we don't even realize could put us at sure. risk? Sure. So risk factors are, for example, lifestyle. Smoking puts us mm -hmm. at risk. Um, a sedentary lifestyle, not being very active. I think about astronauts up in space without gravity, they lose 20% of their bone in a year. Wow. Like it's crazy. Yeah. So if we're not moving, our bones are like, eh, mm -hmm. I don't need to build. Because our bones are in constant turnover. There's mm -hmm. building cells and there's breakdown cells. And we've got to encourage those cells to work. Um, also conditions like celiac disease, where there's poor absorption, or if someone's had bariatric surgery, there's poor absorption. But other risk factors, too, are taking medications such as steroids mm -hmm. or drugs used to treat um, seizure disorders, cancer-fighting drugs, uh, chemotherapies, mm -hmm. and also drugs that are fighting transplant rejection. So it's really looking at what other medications am I on? Is that impeding my bone, bone health? Sure. Okay. And is this something that you would talk to your doctor about? Is there a certain test that we could take to see, you know, where we fall on the line of, of our risks? Yeah, so there's a, a test called a DEXA, and it's a painless test. You lay on a table um, that's open, and a little bar comes over and back, and it actually m measures your bone density, mm -hmm. usually at the spine, at the hip, and at the wrist. Okay. And so then we get a score. It's called a T-score. So everyone should know their T-score. Mm -hmm. um, we generally get this test when there are risk factors such as menopause. Menopause is the biggest risk factor for osteoporosis because when your estrogen goes down, your bone building cells aren't working as fast. Yeah, quickly, how does this apply to Jane? So quickly, Jane, um, I saw her for the first time. She had never had a bone density. She was in early menopause. Mm -hmm. We got one. I called her. She was mad. Mm -hmm. um, I was the bearer of bad news. She had osteoporosis already. Mm -hmm. And she was so upset because she was scared. Her mom had osteoporosis, had multiple fractures, had a bit of a you know, tip in her back mm -hmm. and was in a lot of pain. So I said, just because you have osteoporosis doesn't mean you're going to break something. Let's keep you strong, mm -hmm. balance. So she got really intense about her workouts, built muscle, took the vitamin D. Um, and so, and then two, we ruled out other things like thyroid. So again, we just worked on getting her healthy and uh, now she knew. Okay, your takeaway tip for us this week. Know your bone density. You okay. know, have a sense of what it is now. Ask for a bone density if you haven't had one and you're in menopause. And for sure, by 65, you can get a free DEXA by Medicare. So make sure you know your bone density. All right, always great information. Thank you so much, Thank Dr. You. Bentner, for being here.